Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Budkai 3K tournament. Yes, we're here today uh, to continue on the fighting. Uh, we have the uh, the uh, destroying box of, of uh, a fun box, whatever. Uh, wait, actually, what the heck is this thing called? It's the uh, it's the uh, toy box of despair <laughs> and something. And this is Bogram Smasher. Uh, these guys are next up to see who makes it to the semifinals. Uh, and this is something that uh, that Daniel has actually uh, submitted to me for fun. Uh, he just wanted me to check out his little design here. I think it's a pretty cool ship. Just wanted to show it off real quick. But uh, but yes, without further ado, let's get on to the next match of these two over here. Oh yeah, just see so you know, guys, don't get sad. Uh, here's a little demonstration of uh, Daniel's from Cruiser 3's uh, little ship design here. It's a pretty cool. It's a pretty cool ship. Pretty cool design. Uh, I was not gonna leave you guys without watching it do something. So this is it doing something. I've actually haven't seen this thing shoot before. So this is pretty darn cool. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. Uh, good luck ever getting the resources to make something like this. But uh, or I guess you could in the campaign. Who knows if you're super like beast. But okay. All right. So onto the tournament now. Okay, Smasher versus Toy Box of Doom and Destruction. Here we go. We'll hope. Well, uh, let's. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> Here come the missiles. Let's see if his anti-missile. Uh... Oh, what in the world? Oh, there we go. Some are connecting. All right. I was wondering. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, Whew. what the heck? Are there any warheads on these missiles? <laughs> the missiles are hitting like like a billion. But, uh, but there's, like, no damage. Woo! Let's see what's going on over here. <laughs> That's very interesting. I mean, it's very spectacular on the watch. And it's very loud, very loud. But... Oh, my, okay. Oh, that's so cool. That is, that is, ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this reminds me of something I did a long time ago. <laughs> I did a little, little missile test. Um, okay, it looks like... Looks like the toy box of Doom and Destruction has has very, uh, oh, this is very neat. There's very little damage in these missiles. I have to check these out afterwards. But okay, yeah, it looks like... Uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of speechless still. Yeah, all right, well, it looks like Toy Box is winning this fight. Uh, he has silenced uh, the Smasher. Smasher had a lot of trouble, I guess, penetrating the uh, the Toy Box from down uh, under below. And it looks like his main gun is out. Yes, yes. So it looks like... Yep. Yep. Alright. Victory goes to the first round to, uh... To this underwater toy box of doom. Alright, once again, let's see how these missiles stack up against the, uh... Against the Daka of the Smasher. Looks like his shield is, is going ahead doing its job. Uh, really deflecting all these shots that are coming in. Very cool, as the missiles are just flying like crazy to their target. Seems like they're kind of a little inaccurate at some times, but look at them, they're like sharks down here. They're like, they're like scary sharks, and they're tracking, they're just like, finding the, yeah, they're finding the smasher. Oh, and they're going right to them, they know what to do. And they're still, they're still like, they still got their engines running underwater, it's crazy. And like, oh yeah, as soon as the, uh, this is almost like a voodoo box of despair, I mean, this is some freaky stuff. As soon as he goes under the water, he's just like, untouchable by the smasher. What a tough matchup, what a tough pairing. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that. That's, that's, some, that's some scary stuff. And all these missiles in the water here just waiting. Just waiting to float to, uh, to the Smasher. It's, it's a rough, it's a rough time. Okay, so it seems like some of the missiles are now starting to find, yeah, they're starting to find the front of the Smasher here. Uh, as, as he, as he floats into their, uh, radius, their circling, uh, whatever. <laughs> this is so weird. I wonder if this was intentional design, like, to have a whole ton of missiles circling the uh circling the opponent yeah these missiles are just rolling in now they're just rolling rolling in just see so guys uh just to confirm uh yeah there's a i mean look at all these missiles billions of them just billions of them just pouring in i mean wow like from behind so i'm guessing they didn't have enough fins to go ahead and uh and make this make this huge sharp of a turn to go right here but but it looks like they didn't need to. These missiles are pretty smart. Pretty smart missiles. Okay, all right. So on to the next uh, match. Okay, here we have the Mustashi Stash Laser versus the Righteous Sinner. Oh my goodness, he's hidden. Uh, wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at all those lasers just shooting out of there. Oh my. All the carnage is... Well, for once... I did not see this. I did not see this. Normally... 
normally righteous sinners ships have fantastic explosions, but this time, this time he's just like, I'm not exploding. I'm gonna put a bunch of lasers on here, no ammo barrels, and he's just, oh, now he's sinking underwater. Oh wow, incredible. He's not even underwater yet. He's just slowly sinking, slowly, slowly sinking. He's like, uh, yeah, okay. I can't believe it. So Mustachi has not had a chance to even get into orbit. That's that's unfortunate. I don't think even uh, that would even matter. All right, so let's do a next roundup. Let's uh, let's see if uh, anything's different next time around. Okay, Stash Laser versus the Righteous. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> what? So now it's like the other way around. Now it's just like a complete total uh, upset the other way. Interesting. Because, uh, okay, because the uh, the stash laser wanted to start out at a, at a minimum range. So, so the last time I did like a medium, I did like a little average. And now, very interesting. So, yeah, I, I spawned him in second last time. Now first, now second. Okay, hmm. All right, so I'm gonna have to flip a coin to see who I spawn in second next time to make this uh, a fair draw because they both have explosive starts. Uh, oh boy, this is this is tough. Okay, all right, best two out of three. Okay, final showdown for these two. I really don't want to see any of them go. Oh no, yeah, it looks like. Oh darn it. Oh, there we go. Both firing lasers. Okay, now we'll see who's supreme. Come on now. Oh. Uh oh, 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 looks like the stash laser is. Oh, he's doing it, he's doing it. For somehow, Righteous Sinner's uh, lasers didn't get started for a little while. They had to tilt up and aim. Unfortunately, he got the second spawn on this one. Oh man, that's a shame. These are both really good contenders. I hate to see any of them go. But it looks like this, uh, it looks like the stash laser does move on to the next round. Uh,. Yeah, I mean, like, he has a slow pickup, but luckily, luckily, it works. Oh, he's, he's a vicious guy. Both have very vicious lasers. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right, so, Stash Laser, congratulations. You move on to the next round. So here we have Clay's Watchtower versus the, uh, the Manta and Jelly. We will, we will see who is reigning on Supreme. Now, now, what I do with these deployments, I set them at equal levels just above the, uh, just above the water surface. So, so it's kind of fair like that. So, uh, you know, if you guys in the future want a submarine, make sure it's really heavy so it sinks quickly. And if you want a, uh, a really good, like, high orbital kind of dude, uh, make sure you have lots of jets on it that send it up pretty quick. Because uh, it's, I feel like it's fair if they both start at the same level and then have to uh, do, their, uh, do their thing. But it looks like, hey, this is great. So, uh, looks like the watchtower is going ahead, sending some lasers down here to the Manta, easily penetrating the water. Doing some damage. How is the jelly here helping out with the uh, repairs? Oh, jelly's helping out with the yeah, repairs. I saw it. Yeah, there he is. I see some blue going in here. Yeah, there he goes. Repairing up. But not too sure. Oh, looks like the Manta is sending out a continuous beam of some sort. Very cool. We got missiles firing out as this thing rotates. Lasers taking turns as it rotates. That's good. So even if lasers on one side get destroyed, uh, he has lasers on another side as those get repaired, so I would say Not too much offense, but very very defensive and tactical uh, Clay's Clay's design is I like it and I believe I believe it is enough. I believe the Manta may be taken out. I'm gonna go ahead and let this play out a little bit uh, Oh the jelly. Oh the jelly. Oh Poor jelly's getting taken out. Oh, that's pretty smart on on his on his uh, yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this for a little bit. I'll see uh, I'll see how much more damage is inflicted here. Oh, I could see through the manta. Oh, the poor manta. I see I see through you. I see through you. Haha. Ha. All right. So, all right. Good show. Good show by by both by both players. But it looks like Clay has slowly whittled down, especially at this height in this range now. Uh, looks like he is definitely whittling down and superior in this in this particular round to the manta and jelly. So. We will go ahead and see, uh, next round, if there's any difference. Here we go. Will the spinning watchtower do what it did once again? Oh my god, look at all these explosions right off the bat. Oh, I see what it was. He had the anti-missile lasers exploding. Oh, 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 is he gonna... Oh, look at them, look at them anti-missile lasers. Oh, look at them work. Just got a few frags shining off here and there. Yeah. Ooh, and these shields that are like underneath these armored uh, armored panels very cool very smart. That's actually Oh, wow. That's 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 very good design. Okay. Well, what about Manta here? Okay, come on 
okay. I mean, uh, let's see here. Okay, so we got lasers, we got missiles coming in. Uh, okay, so looks like the jelly is going ahead doing some repairs, but it looks like the manta has been silenced once again uh, fairly quickly. And also this this angle, this angle that the uh, oh yeah that that the uh, watchtower has uh, is a very steep, very good angle. Oh, Mantis kind of angling up a little bit, but it doesn't look like he has any shootability anymore. Uh, oh yeah, his engine and lasers are totally done. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, winner is Clay of ODCS Gaming. Uh, did I get that right? Yeah, ODCS. Yes, uh, Gaming. He is the winner of this match. And now we move on to the semifinals. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go, people. This is exciting. I'm gonna do a little uh, recap now too, to see uh, to see where everyone stands and what everyone is uh, who's who's uh, fighting. Okay. After much combat, we finally have our six semifinalists here battling out for the three seats for the uh, for the ultimate end game part of the tournament. Uh, our first matchup for the semifinals is uh, Daniel's Cruiser Three with uh, Hoyer's Mesolith, and uh, let's see here. Hoyer, yeah, he's he's just a brick. He's a house with lasers. Uh, very mean. Uh, I could see maybe his weakness is is if uh, one of his lasers get blown off. So um, I guess if Cruiser Three is targeting weapons uh, primarily, then that'll be uh, that'll be a pretty good win for him possibly. Um, but yeah, so good luck to the, both of these two. Uh, next we have uh, Cern's uh, Cantina Brawlers, which is my personal favorite. I'm rooting for these guys this tournament uh, versus uh, Captain On's uh, Toy Box of Doom and Despair. Uh, where's the toy box at? He always disappears. He always gets away from me. Here he is. Yeah, so these guys versus this guy with the missiles. Now, I see these missiles actually being a problem for uh, his many flyers, for CERN's many flyers. Um, but then I see the lasers and the incredible d shots of Daka possibly penetrating the toy box. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so, so the missiles, tons of missiles versus all that. Uh, we'll see who uh, who reigns supreme, and then the third roundup for the semifinals is the uh, stash laser versus uh, Clay's uh, watchtower. Now both these guys are high flyers, and the only thing I'm concerned about is if the stash laser can get high enough to shoot at at his uh, appropriate angle, because I know he's gonna have like a certain you know he's gotta be like on top of whatever he's shooting at, and since they're both flying upwards, he may not get that angle quick enough, and the uh, watchtower may go ahead and smush him up. So that's gonna be a challenge. We'll see. But if he can get above the uh, the watchtower fast enough, then the watchtower is gonna suffer some big trouble. So that's gonna be a really fun fight to watch. It's gonna be the third one, third round in all this. So okay, so let's get around to it. Cruiser three versus Mesolith. Go. Okay. So let's uh, let's take a look at this from Cruiser 3's point of view. Uh, oh, he's getting some good shots in before the Mesolith starts sinking. There's an explosion happening. Where is that? Oh, it's happening right here, right here. What's happening to Mr. Uh, turtle in the box? In the box of a turtle. Let's see. He is. Uh, ooh. Oh no, he's shooting. He's definitely still shooting. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh, he took away. Uh... Oh, here come the repair bots. I think they're a little. Uh, they're a little late to the party. <laughs> they just all popped out all at once. Is he even still shooting though? Oh, he's still shooting. It's hard to see lasers underwater. I tell you. Yeah, okay. Oh, is this thing just crumbling? Oh no, the missiles are crumbling. Everything's crumbling apart. Okay. Uh, and let's see what the damage over here. He's a sneaky fellow, this guy. Okay, so he's just kind of like... <laughs> he's just kind of like on his side. Oh, looks like this did get destroyed. But it looks like it got rebuilt. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this guy next time. Alright, so, next round. Alright, so let's see this fight from the Mesolith's point of view here. Uh, this is the sneaky box of mystery here. Um, all right, so it looks like the shots, the uh, they're really getting dampened in the water here. All these explosive rounds just just, just kind of like falling here, not really much of it making much of an impact. Looks like some lasers are hitting the box. Oh, some missiles are kind of uh, kind of kind of not really. No, nope. looks like he finally sank down. Yeah, see, his ship is pretty heavy, so he sank pretty fast, getting down to where he needs to be. Doesn't seem like he's too good at rotating for uh, for shooting both of his weapons, but I guess he doesn't quite need to. Because he has a box in a box, supposedly. So I don't know how the heck that even pilots, but... Okay, and looks like same result as before. So, alright. Hoyer's uh, box of, uh, uh, I guess, uh, <laughs> Mesolith. Crazy thing. I really wonder what's in here. It's like, oh, there it goes moving. It's moving now, kind of <laughs> sliding across the seafloor. 
Oh, wow. Very weird. Very weird contraption. But okay, so he is the winner. He moves on to the first seat. Uh, next, we have CERN and uh, Captain On. So let's do it. All right, so Toy Box versus the Cantina Brawlers. Let's see where these missiles end up going. Looks like they are tracking the planes. Uh, oh, some kind of explosion somewhere. I'm assuming it's a Toy Box, but I think he can handle it. Try to see... Uh, what exactly is happening here? Okay, so I think these flyers are a little too fast for these missiles. Oh, and I remember these missiles don't have that many fins, so I doubt that they can actually track. Oh my goodness, what do we have happening here? What do we have happening up in this joint? I don't think the toy box has any more toys left in it because they got blown to pieces and they're all like sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Okay. All right. So now we know what's going on. Yeah, maybe if the missiles had a little... Oh my gosh. Oh, these missiles, like, they're falling from the sky now. That's kind of pretty. But, okay, yeah, so not enough fins on the missiles to track those flyers of such great speed. Now the flyers are going ahead. The brawlers are going ahead, letting loose their missiles as they, uh, as they fly overhead. Yep, there they go. Missiles flying up, flying down, smashing to the grounds. Okay. All right. One more round of this. Okay, will the brawlers move on to the uh, second seat, or will there be an upset? We shall see. Oh, there's already an explosion happening here somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, those those lasers. Their uh, their laser boat. I forget his name. Uh, maybe it's like El Guapo or something. Uh, <laughs> seems like he is just shooting through the armor and shields on this boat. He is just like detonating all those missiles and ammo barrels. I'm uh, I'm assuming that there is. I mean, yeah, it's happened before. It's like the whole bottom part of him just kind of dropped out. Must have been a huge amount of ammo barrels in here. What else do we have down in here? Oh yeah, oh, look at all those fuel barrels. Oh my goodness, yeah. Tons of fuel barrels, tons of ammo barrels. Uh, totally getting smoked by the brawlers, by the cantina brawlers. And, yep, same repeat as last time. No upsets here. Uh, sorry, sorry, toy box of uh, doom and destruction. Uh, I, like, I like to try, very good try, I like it. But it seems like the brawlers and their and their design of, of many, of, of the many of the many army uh, is is uh, taking over seat two, and they will be yeah this is gonna be exciting. I wonder how they're gonna do against everyone else. But okay, so they're the winners of this. Let's move on to the next fight. It's gonna be the uh, the stash laser versus Hoyers. Um, no, I always say that it's versus Clay's Watchtower. <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right, now here's a fight I've been waiting for. Let's see if the Stash Laser can go ahead and outrun the offense that the uh, Watchtower has. Oh, looks like Watchtower hits. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, he's spinning out of control. Looks like yeah, the Watchtower hit an ammo barrel. Oh, he is. He cannot shoot. Oh, is he going to smash upon the rocks? Looks like his lasers are trying to go ahead and, oh, get some shots off. They're actually shooting. Oh, look at this. This is some crazy stuff. If he can go ahead and right himself, the stash laser can right himself. I do believe he can finish off the watchtower. Wow, he's a fast one. He's going to need to be fast, though. So, all right, looks like he's grounded somehow. He's grounded the watchtower. Oh, watchtower. Oh, this is some heavy damage. Those lasers are extremely powerful on this guy. And I hear another explosion going on down there, down below. So it looks like this round goes to the Mustachi Stash Laser uh, crazy flying thing. Yep, there he goes. He's spinning in circles, but he's getting the job done. Wow. Okay, all right. Let's do it again. Okay, Clay's Watchtower versus the Stash Laser. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, getting some major hits. All right, Stash Laser won at minimum range. First time was a little closer, this time a little further. It looks like the offense of, yeah, the offense of the Watchtower. Oh, man, he's doing it this time. If he can dodge the water. Oh, if he's in the water, he's done. Look at that. Ay ay ay. Oh, tough break. Tough break. Well, we'll see. We'll see. If he, nah, he's not going to right himself. And those lasers are just going to keep on firing. I tell you, what a, what a, what a, what a tough... Oh wait, they're shooting! <gasps> no way, they're shooting! That's right, because his angle is increasing now. Oh, no way. <laughs> it's gonna be an upset, I feel. Oh, <laughs> look at this! Look at the watchtower. Oh, he's getting pummeled, but let's see his defensive design, his rotating defensive design work here. Can he destroy a stash laser from underwater before he uh, gets destroyed? Oh, he's getting some explosions here. Oh my gosh, I did not see this happening. I did not see this happening. Oh! 
and there's nothing really to stop the stash laser from shooting <laughs> as he's just hiding underwater. This is this is a weird this is a weird turn of events. Oh, and the higher he goes, the more of his sensitive spots are revealed to the stash laser. Oh, he's just like in shambles under here. Oh my goodness. Oh, the carnage. So who is gonna win out of this? I don't know. Oh my goodness. This is this is for the third seat. This is like a big deal right here. This is gonna be like so so okay, alright, so now there's no more shooting. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead, let time go on. Well there's some shooting, but I don't think that missile's gonna get there. Um Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just like watch this for a bit and see what unfolds. Alright, so it looks like Clay's watchtower is repaired a little bit in some places and he's floating back up. His missiles are having no effect as they are all floating on top of the water there, I checked, uh, on top of the stash laser. But uh, if he keeps floating up like this in the sky, he's gonna be a prey to stash lasers, lasers again. Uh, oh, now he's going down. Okay. <laughs> oh, this, this round might be our first draw in history. Uh, it may be. It may be. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit back, I'm just gonna watch this. So it looks like the stash laser is sitting here pretty healthy underwater. He's just sitting here like, oh, nice and pretty. Like, uh, not really, this is only like some parts that are smoked. But, uh, but yeah, he's ready for the shooting, ready for, uh, for action. And, uh, and Clay's ship has just hit the water. Uh, he's repairing, but he's still not quite getting his, uh, his flying stuff down. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this a draw, since it's been like, uh, like, oh, you know, five minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, something like that. So, alright, so this round's a draw. Let's, uh, let's have another round of this. Alright, Watchtower versus... Okay, alright, he's shooting missiles somewhere. Don't know where that is. This fight's gonna be brought to you by the, the Great Wide Ocean. I have him right out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Oh, man. Oh, looks like the, uh, the, the stash laser has got the jump on. Yep, the watchtower. Looks like it. It looks like it. Now... Alright, so it looks like, it looks like the stash laser will be taking the seat, three. But now that he will be, this is going to be tough. I, I feel like he's, go he's got an advantage against our other seats. We'll see how, how he fares. He could be the champion. We'll see. I mean, oh, then again, the Cantina Brawlers do have their own laser ship. So maybe that ship could bring him down. Uh, but he's going to have a... I feel like he's going to have a big advantage. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Troubles are coming. And there might be a champion. We'll see. I'm getting ahead of myself. But okay. So next episode, we are going to go ahead and, uh, and figure out uh, who is going to be the champion? We're going to do all three seats. We're going to have uh, a victory points battle. Basically, uh, there's going to be you know uh, three rounds, best two out of three between uh, each side competitor, and then uh, and then we're going to tally up all the victory points, all the win losses and draws, and see who are the final two combatants, and then we'll have a final fight for the champion. So okay, so until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.